Hi there, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to Five Minutes Cantonese. 大家好，我是 Amanda， 欢迎收睇五分钟广东话。Today we'll only focus on one word. 讲，讲。Let's get started. 说过 ，Remember what is the meaning of 讲 ？Yes, 讲 means to speak. However, in Cantonese, basically, to speak, to tell, to say, and to talk, we can use the same verb. Gong. Now let's make some simple sentences. For example, I can speak Cantonese. How to say? Yes, very easy. I, 我 And then can here means able to sing or sing da. Okay, 我 sing 讲 Okay, to speak 讲 Cantonese 广东话 Okay, 我识讲广东话 Or 我识得讲广东话 Pay attention to the pronunciation of To speak, 讲 but okay, Cantonese, 讲 all right. To say, for example, someone speak too soft, so you want him or her to say again. So you say, can you say again? You, 你 can cannot, 可唔。可以，你可唔可以 ？To say， 讲 ，one more time， 多一次 ，or you can skip the number one， 多次。你可唔可以讲多一次 ？Or 你可唔可以讲多次？ To talk, for to talk, normally in Cantonese will link with the word something, which is 嘢 So to talk, 讲嘢讲嘢 For example, he's talking too loud. How to say? He, 佢 talk. Okay, here we don't need to use pleasant continuous tense. 讲嘢讲嘢 too loud. 太太 loud. 大声佢讲嘢太大声佢讲嘢太大声 So if loud is 大声 how about soft? Yes, 细声，细声。Let's make a sentence with it. For example, you are talking too soft. I can't hear you. You, 你 again, talk, 讲嘢，讲嘢 very soft, 好。Soft, 细声。你讲嘢好细声。I can't hear. 我 ，OK. Here, unable to hear. 听唔到。我听唔到。OK. If you don't remember why we use 唔到 after the verb 听 please refer back to. This lesson. Repeat after me. 你讲嘢好细声，我听唔到。你讲嘢好细声，我听唔到。Last but not least, to tell. Well, in Cantonese, to tell we can also use the verb 讲 but we need to add the preposition with. For example. Tell him, 
you can say tong, okay? With, okay? Him, koi. And then to talk, gong. Tong, koi, gong means to tell him. So how to say to tell you? Right. Tong, nei, gong. Okay. Or you can use this expression as well. Tell him to hear or tell him to know something like let him know how to say gong and then him ko to hear tang or gong ko to know zi gong ko zi Okay, now let's make a very simple sentence. For example, I must tell him or I must let him know how to say. I, 我, must, 一定要, 我一定要. Okay, remember how to say to tell him. Yes, we can either use with, 同佢讲,我一定要同佢讲. Or, 我一定要 tell him to hear. 讲佢听, 我一定要讲佢听. Or, to tell him to know. 我一定要讲佢知, 我一定要讲佢知. How to say? 我一定要同他说, you lie. 你, how to say to lie? 讲, to tell, lie. 讲大话, 讲大话, 我一定要同他说, 你讲大话. Or, 我一定要讲他听, 你讲大话. 我一定要讲他听,你讲大话. Last one. 我一定要讲他知,你讲大话. 我一定要讲他知,你讲大话. Very good. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. If you want to learn Cantonese with me, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you want more worksheet and supplementary audio exercise as well as the fresh card, please, please support my Patreon page. See you next time. Bye-bye.